In what ways does your media product use, develop or challenge forms and conventions of real media product? Here is my media product, a newspaper called Bait and Times. Stuart Hall, 1980, suggested that media texts encode meaning to get a preferred reading. This comes under the heading of mediation. In my product of Bait and Times, my preferred reading was varied to an extent in the fact I wanted to highlight key points such as community and local spirit instead of typical concepts such as ideal self or partner. Although those included in my articles may in fact fall under that category by some of the readers themselves. So it is pretty much an open concept in terms that the audience will decide for my product in an individual way and read it in a specific way relevant to them. Of course I have encoded certain elements and codes such as Vartas 1997 action code or even a Migna code which I will want them to understand so that doesn't mean necessarily other interpretations can't be made. Richard Dyer 1983 posed a few questions when it comes to analysing media representations in general. In reference to these questions I will refer to my own May 2 media product to gain a sense in how I have challenged or used certain representations in order to advance the creation of a particular preferred meaning in my production. A preferred meaning I have attempted to grasp in my work was that of community journalism. Community journalism is the way in which a particular news story, or any article in general, targets the community as a whole. The articles in the Bait and Times that I created are edging towards community journalism, meaning they focus on a small neighbourhood rather than a large mass area. Therefore, when creating a sense of the world, this comes on a smaller scale, but yet holds the ability to express news, that is further out than that particular area. I believe the representations in my A2 newspaper of the Bait and Times are typical of the world, in the sense they portray several conventions of local newspapers. For example, the articles included are aimed specifically at those living in the local area of Dayton, as well as the age group I set out to aim at, that being people aged between 35 and 54, with the typical class being lower middle to working class, C1 DE. I researched into already existing newspapers in my area, such as the Eckerton Leader and the Sheffield Star, in order to find out which demographic of people had the highest readership of local newspapers on offer. Marxists have a rather clear view on ideologies and representations, including a hegemonic view of society, which highlights the fundamental inequalities in power between social groups. Those who are in power exercise their influence culturally rather than by force. In the Marxist theory, the ruling class, bourgeoisies, are able to protect their economic interests. Representations in the media are one way in which those powers can be exercised. Representations are encoded into mass media texts in order to reinforce dominant ideologies in society, which also links to mediation, true at all, and creating a preferred meaning for the audience to consume. In relation to my A2 production, the person in power within my articles and photographs will be the actual community themselves. Although I have written the stories, the information and understanding I have gained actually came from those involved, those being the residents in my local area that my newspaper is targeting. Although as the writer I have power to make the articles into something, they may not have been before, through representations such as age, class and many others. I am able to mould them successfully to create meaning needed to have an impact on the audience. Tim O'Sullivan and others implied that ideology refers to a set of ideas that produce a partial or selective view of society. The notion of ideology entails wildly health ideas or beliefs, which are seen as common sense and become neutralised. The ideologies displayed in my A2 production include distinctive, well-known values such as by working together something can be achieved. This links to my main story about tenants succeeding in stopping a chain store bid, which in turn also links to the representation of regional identity, since these stories are rooted in Baton, the area in which my newspaper represents. Roland Barthes, 1973, came up with a concept of myth, the way ideologies work through symbolic code, and they are mythic in the sense of having the appearance of being natural or common sense.